My name is Nicolas Velasco. I'm from University of Los Andes back in Colombia. My project title is When Do Leaves Commit to Their Phenotypic Fate? Uh, I did this work with Adrian Roder in Roder Lab at Bio Center and with the help of Mara Zimmerman. Uh, so my basic research question I wanted to address was when do leaves commit to their phenotypic fate and basically when is the developmental point of no return in leaves? And by this, I mean, you know that leaves come in very different sizes and shapes through the whole plant kingdom, and they can change a lot from their very early developmental stages until later development. So in this whole project, we want to see if the DT2 mutant of Ariosis alina that you can see here, that is kind of smaller and when compared to the cold zero phenotype, that it has smaller leaves. And the good thing about this mutant is that it can be reversed to a cold zero phenotype by adding the brassinus, by adding a molecule called brassinus serif. By adding the molecule, you get to see that the DT2 plant starts to take more of a cold zero shape. And by transferring them on different days after the development, you get to see the specific time point where plants are being affected by the presence of the Brassner story. We did this by setting up time progression and also image them, imaging them through confocal microscopy. And the basic results of, of this and the whole summary of the whole situation is the existence of two possible developmental points of no returns, where plants can be affected by the presence of the Brassner story on early stages of development and also a surprising one on the second and later stages of the ones around 11 or 12 days after they have been exposed to brass and sturd. And this can help us to get to know how leaves form their whole leaves and specifically which are the timed moments where a plant is affected by a specific compound and how the cell cycle can be affected by the whole situation. Towards the future, we would like to keep up doing this with our live imaging situation with a confocal microscope, but we look forward into it in the future. Yeah, I think that's it. Great, thank, <laughs> thank you, you so very much. much. Yeah. Um, could you tell me, can you think of any future applications and other areas of research that this could have? Getting to know how leaf morphology takes its shape and especially in Ariopsis, which is a modal plant for the whole plant kingdom, can help us to know when is the optimal point of adding a specific hormone, in this case, brassinolac, for getting the whole level of development changed. And that can help us a lot with the whole transformation of plants and the whole development of them. Understanding how their physiology can change from one day to another, just on the exposition of them to specific molecules. Great, thank yeah. you so much. Very thank nice you so much work. For having me.